Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to May tonight. We're still in the day phase. We haven't gotten the best mana source again, but uh, there was a little mistake last turn. Basically, I, I had an error in how I calculated Brutal. I've been doing it since pretty much day one of this game. Now, I did a video, a separate little video, talking about Brutal and how wounding works. Uh, cut a long story short, last turn, I absorbed that three damage on this Guardian Golem and didn't wound him. But the fact is that he would have taken a wound because it's three absorber and then the Brutal is doubled. So it'd still have three damage to wound him. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend I tapped him and use the red mana crystal to uh, pay for fire block. And uh, actually I'll, I'll use the blue crystal and play for ice block. And that blocked four, which means that he has, uh, he was blocked, but he's not wounded. Okay, uh, let's get into this. What do we got? We got Baravir or whatever his name is. Now we want to get into here. It's two to get in here. Uh, let's have a look here. Draw to five. What have we got? One time this night if your deed deck is empty. Okay, it's not empty. So we've got three cards to go. Let's have a look. What have we got? We don't have any combat. We've got a nice block. So this monster is... What is six to block and six to kill. Now we do have shapeshift. So four... Five, six, that's actually enough to kill him, but we still need to move in there and block him because he has uh, poison, which is a really, really ultra annoying effect. He also got assassination, so he can't put wounds on units. But the poison's a real issue, so that would actually be four wounds because we have three armor. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I think, let me see, what's this thing? Reduce the enemy attack by two, reduce the enemy attack by four. So if I reduce the enemy attack by four, that becomes two attack, which I can then block without mana. So that's, that is blocked. That is killed, but I have no way of actually getting in there. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to discard this card, even though it's an extremely good card. Keep these two cards. Oop. Keep these. And then next turn I'll draw another card, see if I can kill him. Then I only need some movement. See, that there is enough to kill him, but I just need two movement to get in. So if I, before I do this, let me just quickly check. We've got three cards left. I've used one, two, three moves. So three, every one of these cards should be a move card. Oh, there's one in here. So two out of the three cards should be a move card. So I definitely should be able to do this next turn. Okay. Meanwhile, over here, let's draw to seven. And remember, he's drawing to seven because he is next to two things he owns. We're just going to finish off this thing. We only need to kill one more guy. Influence as my action for the turn. Okay, so my action this turn is actually entering the ruin and fighting this goblin thing. So we got no cards left. First thing I'm going to do is roll the mana with mana search. Let's see what else we get. Blue and a green and a black. Not very cool. Okay. So what we need to do is block three and then attack five. Well, there is attack four. You know what I might do? 
there's four, five. That's enough to kill him. Okay. We are actually going to, even though this guy is tapped, we can still use him to absorb damage. And it says that over here in the views. I had, a, I went right through all the rules again for combat. Uh, it's on page eight. You can assign a damage to a unit as long as it's not wounded. Unwounded spent units can have damage assigned to them. So we can still assign damage here. So this is how this works with Brutal. It's three to block, so that's the block value, but it's producing six damage and the damage causes wounds. So now we're working out how many wounds that six damage causes, which is three times two because of Brutal. So we're gonna place it on him. So that is minus three for the resistance and then three for the actual armor or value of the golem, which means we wound him and that's the end of this damage. It's no longer applicable. And then we just go, you don't have any, so I'm just gonna go boom. So that is four, five damage and that kills him. And yeah, so that is actually a uh, whatever you call it, a ruin. And the result of that ruin is that we gain one crystal of every color. That's the reward. So we gain a red, a blue, a green and a white. Okay, and this isn't too much of an issue because we do have peaceful moment, which means next turn we'll be able to heal that unit because this guy will produce one heal for each two influence we produce this turn. So this produces six. So this is heal three when you power it up. It's two heal to kill this guy to unwound him. So when you're unwounding, when you're healing units, right, you have to create heal points equal to their rank, which is two, that top uh, right hand corner there. So I'm going to heal him and the extra point I can use to heal this. So that is awesome. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Uh, he has three experience as well. So that is one, two, three. Okay, your turn, let's draw up to five. Okay, we've got an awesome range attack here and we've got some mana draw, but we have no white mana. We've had terrible mana this turn, haven't we? What have we got here? Song of Wind for six. Well, I think what we're gonna do is go Let's go one, two, and we can't power this. This gives us two movement points and that's enough to explore. Oh, let's get rid of this and bam. Oh, look at that. I still can't place this dragon because the dragon can't, I, I, maybe I can, no, I still can't place this dragon because he has to be placed in an, a safe space and that's not already got a, anything there. So this dragon still hasn't been placed, which is a real bummer. And, gee, what a terrible bunch of turns. It's been a real difficult, game so far. Oh look, a lot of action in this guy. He's got four left to go and he's got a heal up here. I wonder if he's got any wounds in his discard pile. No. Okay, what have you got for us? Oh look, there's another one. So he needs five movement to get there. What's this? Five movement. There's no green Oh, wait, but green can be white, which is handy. I'm going to 
tab you and draw one card. Beautiful. Blue to red. So I've got no wounds. Okay, so I guess I can go one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three. I need one more movement. I'm just going to go one, two. Oh, that's three to move in there. Gee. I've got three cards left. I'm going to pay with a green. Draw a second card just to see what's coming for my next turn. So it's one, two. Three. I'm going to move into here. Ooh. Nice. Wrong kind of golem. Okay. And let's... Oh, that was his turn. Let's go back to you. Let's see if we can do this now. Excellent. So, remember, we're moving into here, which is two to move in. Now we just got to worry about our mana situation. There is a white in the... Offer. So that's two to move in, two to block, we pay with a white, yeah we pay with a white, and then we power this with a green crystal, and we're sorted. Okay, so to cook to just go what happens, that's two, that moves us into the zone. So we're now in the castle. We need six to block, but we pay with dodge and weave. Reduce one, in, one enemy attack by four, which is all we need to do. So I don't even need to spend this, do I? Oh no, then I need the blue. Yeah, so I am gonna do this. Yeah. So this is reduces the enemy attack by four. That gives us two attack. And then I just block for two. So that he is blocked. And now I need to produce six attack. And I've actually produced eight attack. Because using uh, Shapeshift, I can use any... Oh, one basic action card. Oh, that is a basic. Yeah, that is actually a basic card. You can tell it's basic because it's got the little symbol of the Druid. This is his unique version of the blue move card, which is a basic card. It's not an advanced action card. So this does work. Basically, what this is saying is that I can use these four movement points or two movement points or whatever as attack. So by paying with concentration, this becomes six move, which through shapeshift becomes six attack. And I also get another two attack from here I don't need. So if I had a way of powering this with a blue mana, which I do, I've got a blue crystal, but uh, I, blue crystal is more valuable to me, I think. Point is, I've killed these guys. He, he's dead. And he's five. Okay. Yonk. So, one, two, three, four, five. He finally levels up. And we go down one in rep. And he gets to choose a card here. Now we can go for an attack card or we can go for an enemy reduction of armor card. I do really like Tremor. Reducing armor is a very, very powerful effect, especially when you get into the gold cities and you've got all the, you know, the high resistance creatures. Hmm. Still, I think I might get Misform. And I think I'm going to go Tremor. Yeah, let's go Tremor. Let's just stock up on the combat. <laughs> and we also get the next token. Boom. And we are now up to six cards a turn. Finally, someone gets up to six cards. Meanwhile, over here, let's draw to seven again. We'd, we're actually full. There is a white in the thing. So we're going to go bam. White. And that's going to do all our healing, but we still have a bunch of stuff in here. 
So, what have we got? Uh, let's put the marker on our spot so we don't forget who's conquered what. Oh, you know what I mean? I might uh, just... I've started doing this new thing in this mod where I actually uh, flip over these things and leave them on the on the map just to make it a little bit easier to see. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, what are we going to do? I can move into here and possibly take over here next turn, or I can move up to here. I think I'm just going to move into here and have the possibility of doing that next turn. So that's two to move in. And actually, I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to use flight to just flip over and move to the adjacent space for free. I'm just going to go your blonk. And then I'm going to pay for my peaceful moment as my action. Oh, before I do that, I will pay for crystal joy. I just go crystal joy, pay a mana of any color. Oh, wait, I need to pay a mana of any color. I can't really do that. Whatever. <laughs> I do know how to play this game. I should probably stop doing this so early before work. Whatever. Peaceful moment, influence six. That gives us three heal points. One heal for each two influence you spend. Now, that's pretty awesome. I do have this to give us more influence, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure that can only be used in interactions. Uh, discarded when interacting. So basically, you can only use this when you're interacting with other people using your fame. So anyway, this produces three heal. So that is two heal to clear that. And two heal, one heal to clear that. And that's the end of his turn. Three, draw to five. Oh, God. Still nothing for him to do. There's two cards in here. I'm just going to go bam and draw both of them. And four, draw up to five. What have you got for me? Okay, so this is a good time to kill this if I can, because it's only three to move in there instead of five, which it'll be in the morning. Uh, what have I got to do to beat this guy? I need six block and eight attack. Now, he does have fire resistance, but I've... I don't have an ice attack, so I have to produce eight attack, which I don't think is even possible for me, unfortunately. I can produce four, five, six attack. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that can produce eight attack. That can get me in. But I need a blue mana, which can be used by red. So I can actually do this and I will take two wounds. I think that is exactly what I'm going to do because I do need wounds to power her abilities. So I'm going to go, how am I going to do this? So I go bam and I pay with a green and using polarization. Uh, not a green. I pay with a red. And using polarization, that becomes a blue. So this is four movement. That gets me into this location. Then I'm not going to block this. So this is three to block or six to block because I haven't got the right element which produces three attack power, but because of Brutal, it's doubled to six attack power. I have three armor, so that three damage turns into two wounds in hand. Not too shabby. And then I power green crystal. That creates four 
five, six attack, six, seven, eight, by playing these sideways, eight attack does kill this guy. He is dead. And that gives me five rep. One, two, three, four, five, yoink. And I go down one, like so. But I also get to choose a spell. Target enemy does not attack this combat. Love it. Hmm. I'm going to take that one. You blam. Okay. I'm just going to finish off the turn, I think, because we're pretty much at the end. Junk. Okay, so we've got Tremor, move, and attack. And he is over here. There's nothing for him to attack. He could attack the other Mage Knight, but can't be bothered. So instead, I'm going to go... Four movement. I'm also going to tap this guy and gain a green mana token. Oh, let's just... Oh, I don't have any influence. Yeah, I'm going to tap this guy and gain a green mana token. I thought maybe I should buy... Ooh, wait. Long night. One time this night... Wait, before I do all this... One time this night, if your deed is empty, you may shuffle your discard pile and put three cards from it into our hand. So, let's go... One, two, three. What have we got? Nice. Okay, so this does change what I'm planning to do here. Let's put this back. Because we now have an influence. Let's just see if there's anything worth buying. We are in a magic temple. We can get scouts, which is good. We can get a magic familiar, which is actually kind of it cost us quite a lot of mana to get this guy we'd need to spend a magic crystal to hire him and then a magic crystal again to keep him for the next round how many crystals have we got we've actually got quite a lot of crystals we've got blues and greens now he actually has quite high reputation doesn't he yeah he's plus one so this guy is only five to recruit let me just have a quick look at him. I actually quite like the Magic Familiar. I think he's very, very strong. He's particularly good for guys who are great at generating crystals like Gold X. So, if I power this with blue, I get seven block. Or if I power it with white, I get quite a lot, five move. Hmm. We don't need another heal. I do have a white crystal. There is a white crystal here. So if I pay the white crystal, it costs me five to recruit. So there's four, five to recruit. Move requires a white crystal. Green is a heal. I can produce a green crystal here. I might just pay the white. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, uh, four, Yeah, let's just do this. We're, do, we're ending the turn. So, I paid with a white mana to actually recruit him. Then I did two influence, two, three, four, five. Now, this guy is six to higher, but we're plus one because of our excellent reputation. So, this guy is now hired. And I'll just put a... Oh, I didn't lock the card, that's why. So, it was bouncing. God, I'm an idiot. Whatever, the point is I've hired this guy and he's ready to go.
You boing. And that's that. Your turn. He's got no cards to do. Now, I think he's going to stay where he is, maybe do that next turn. So what he's going to do is he's going to go Crystal Joy. He's going to pay with, I guess, a green crystal. Take a green crystal into his hand. What is going on with all my crystals? Something weird's happened to my mod. There we are. And then I'm going to discard March to put this back in my hand. So pay a mana of basic color, gain a crystal. At the end of your turn, may discard a non-wound card to take it back in my hand. I'm just going to sit here and create crystals until the end of the turn. Okay, let's draw back up. Okay, what have you got for us? Give us a move. Give us a move. What am I going to do here? I've still got a great range attack. Ooh, I've got Blood of Ancients. This is three to move in here. We have pretty much nothing. Oh, what I'm going to... I could do this take the white, turn this into blue, take two blue crystals. I'm pretty much just screwing around here. I go boom, and that's four movement. Three movement gets me into here. I then attack into here. I think I can do this all in one turn. Uh, yeah, so let's flip this over. He's got ice resistance. What is the chances of him having ice resistance? <laughs> that is that is crazy. Ah, uh, that is just. That is so unlucky. So that's 12 to kill. That is just... That is... I'm really pissed off. <laughs> uh, what's this guy do? What do I need? I need 12. 8. 9. 6. 7. 8. 9, 10. If I do double block. Oh man, this is that. Oh God, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I mean, this has got to be, I think it's like one of two pugs in the entire dungeon deck that has ice resistance. I mean, what are the chances? I was so sure that would be not a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to take wounds here. I guess what I could do is, what I could do is tap this, gain a white crystal, which I used to pay for that. Then I do black and blue. That gives me eight siege attack. Remember it is night time, so we can do the bottom. So that's eight. 9, 10 from this thing, and then 11, 12, that is enough to kill him, and then I can block one set of, of damage, so I'd get two wounds, so that is one way I can do it, okay, what else could I do, I could tap that and stop him from actually attacking at all then I could pay uh, 
I must have accident, accidentally rolled that, I think. I can't remember what die it was. I'll say it's this one. Then I can make this a blue die. Uh, this, take the white die like I did originally and power this. So he's not attacking at all. So this gets no, so we don't get any wounds now. And then I go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a better move, isn't it? Because that don't take wounds. Okay, just to recap, I did mana draw and I took a white die and got two blue mana crystals. That got me into here. Then I drew this horrible monster that is annoying me. I used this ability here, target unfortified enemy. It does not attack this combat, but it requires a white mana, which I used the crystal from my inventory. So this guy no longer attacks, so I don't have to worry about blocking. Then I did my ranged attack, which is five, using the other blue crystal I generated, or blue mana token I generated. So that's five. And then I've got six, seven, eight, nine attack from here. Plus I have two attack from deadly aim. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this sideway equals twelve. Which I don't even actually technically need to do. Let me just quickly have another look at this. Because this is ice attack, but these are physical attacks. So these are one to one. So that is actually, so that is actually one, two, three, four damage, which only leaves two left to kill. One, two, three, four. That means there's only two more wounds I need, and that covers it. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I could probably, yeah. Anyway, whatever. So that's five. What an annoying god! That that really peeved me off. One, two, three, four, five. Still does not level up. Horrendous. But uh, what do we get? We have to roll two dice. A gold and a blue. So we get a blue mana and a mana of any kind. I think I'm going to take a green. Okay, and four, draw. We basically got nothing. I'm going to use this healing herb, just heal one of these wounds and then discard everything. Okay. He's got BAM, so we're going to go generate a green mana. Uh, actually, I don't think I am going to do that. I'm going to go tap, that gives me five movement. Actually, is there anything I want to buy? It gives me lots of influence too. Yeah, let's do that. That gives us five influence. We'll just buy another unit. We can buy this at the Mage Tower. And then I'm going to tap this guy. Ready a level one or two unit. This is a level two unit. So boom. And then I go, uh, just a little quick interlude. This is actually done out of order. Because I bought that unit, that was actually the end of my turn. It doesn't make any difference at this stage of the round because everyone's finished their turns anyway. But technically, I should have passed the turn and then done the movement bit of this turn next turn. But you'll see that it makes zero difference to this turn, luckily. And also, while I'm talking here... Uh, in a previous turn on this guy, I tapped that healer 
to give myself a green crystal and then decided not to do it and I didn't remove the crystal. So I have to take a crystal. There'll be there's a one extra green crystal which is going to be removed next time you see it. Four, the move cost of one type of terrain is reduced by one this turn to a minimum of two. So I've gone four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 move I just produced. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. So I can actually get on top of here. I think I might just stay here. Nah, let's move on top straight away. Bam. So just to recap, that is... Oh, wait. I've also reduced all terrain types by one. So that is actually... So where was I here? So it's three, four, five... Uh, three, four, five to explore... And that's then to a minimum of minimum of two. So these are all white, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Either way, we produced enough movement for that because we produced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So that is actually completed. We are going to do Crystal Joy and take a red. And he's just going to declare it a turn, or just discard, I should say. It's not actually declaring. And you declare end of turn. And then you declare end of turn. And then you declare end of turn. And then you, and then you declare end of turn. And that is the end, because we're now back to red and that's it that is the end of the night oh wow what a incredibly difficult game we're having now just before i forget i'm going to spend this white mana to keep that white crystal there and then i'm going to reset everybody but I'm going to do the selection of the of the tactics uh, next video. Uh, is he still next to? Yeah, he still is. So he's still drawing a seven. Okay, so everybody's ready to rumble. Let's just change it to day. And let's uh, roll the dice. Okay. 
Okay. One, two, three. So we're still less than half, so we have to keep all those golds. What a shame. Okay. So this would be the situation. Oh wait, let's redo these as well. And we still have not gotten any golds. Really should have pushed to get the gold units out this turn. Okie dokie. So we're ready for the next turn <clears throat> and it will be daylight. I'll see you guys next time.